And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. Americans continue to mourn the deaths of 49 victims and the wounding of dozens more in the recent terrorist attack on a prominent nightclub in Orlando, Florida, by a perpetrator who pledged allegiance to ISIL. In a briefing shortly before the attack, Brett McGurk, special presidential envoy for the Global Coalition to Counter ISIL, spoke about ISIL's appeal and ability to radicalize. There's the core in Iraq and Syria. This is their self-proclaimed kind of phony caliphate. I've traveled now all around the world, and the common denominator when I ask leaders in various capitals, what is it that's driving your young people to this movement? The common denominator is this notion of a historic caliphate. Um, so we have to shrink the core, and we're doing that. In Iraq, Mr. McGurk said, ISIL has lost nearly 50% of the territory it once controlled. In Syria, 20%. Speaking after the Orlando attack, President Barack Obama noted that while the coalition continues to uproot ISIL overseas, there is another source of danger that must be confronted. This kind of uh, propaganda and perversions uh, of Islam that you see generated on the internet, countering this extremist ideology, is increasingly going to be uh, just as important as making sure that uh, we are disrupting uh, more extensive plots uh, engineered from the outside. In any case, said Mr. Obama, Americans will stand united to protect our people and defend our nation and take action against those who threaten us. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.